العالمين والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد as you know the prophet alayhi salatu wassalam said that renew renew your iman quite often so so we can renew our faith and also our brother who have chosen for his his name ali also will be entering the faith and me and you also are renewing the same faith so that it is more important uh, for us uh, as well that this will be a witness against us that other people are witnessing shahada and we in spite of witnessing it have not yet are uh, not living up to it so uh, Brother Ali, for ourselves and yours, I will just be mentioning some of the fundamental teachings of Islam. Islam, the word Islam is not named after any prophet or any person. Like many religions are named after the people, like Buddhism named after Buddha. Christians named after Christ, Judaism named after Judah, Sikhism named after Sikh. But Islam is not named after any person because actually it did not, was not originated by any person. So if Islam, the name of Islam is coming, it's coming from one of the names of God Almighty. His name, one of his name is As-Salam the peace giver and the source of peace and the peace itself. So Islam also means when a person enters, he should and he does become peace within himself, with himself and all the creation which exists, actually. So let me just actually briefly summarize it uh, for you. How Prophet Ali Salatu Wasalam also mentioned that when a person enters Islam, what should he become? What is what's the change coming in him? The major change coming in him after witnessing the Shahada and giving the Shahada and mentioning those things of articles of faith, that God Almighty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this body which me and you have and a mind which with which we think and a heart which nourishes the qualities, attributes, good or bad. I can have jealousy or I can love people. That's up to me, meaning this is the heart thing. So what Islam means that these three things which has given to me and you, what? Our body. Body means our tongue is a physical thing, our eyes, our hands, our feet, stomach. Mind means what we, what we think about. And heart means actually the one we, we love or hate or have, be jealous or be forgiving. Islam means that from these three things, meaning who? From your body and my body, from my mind and my heart, no harm should come to anyone. No harm should come to anyone. And no displeasure to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That I should not displease God, nor I should cause any harm to any creation. Any, even like an ant, even a person, I should not cause harm. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, And second thing is that benefit and ease and comfort and joy should come to others from me. And also towards Allah, Allah should be pleased with me. I should be seeking the pleasure of Allah. And I also should be trying to please 
and fulfill the rights and creating joy, happiness actually to all the people and mankind. So, in a nutshell, I mentioned that what Islam, the fruits of Islam, how Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned, is in two points. Number one, that now no harm should come to anyone from you, from your body, from your no, don't plan against any with evil, without a, no nourish, cultivate any habit any bad quality which actually harms people or displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So point number one, step one is no harm should come from me, hurt or anything. And second point is now benefit should emanate from me. And goodness should come only from me to the people and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is what Islam, that's why it means peace. So how can you be peaceful? First you can be peaceful by not harming anyone. Second, you be peaceful by giving them peace and comfort and ease and all these things that way. So this is known as Islam. But Islam is based upon five pillars, but building is something else. So that is for training, the five pillars and articles of faith. So one should always know what one is believing, what are one's beliefs, who one believes, what is the meaning of life, who is God. And we believe that there is only one true God who created, whose personal name is Allah. He has many, many other names. He is the God of Jesus, God of Moses, all the prophets actually. He is one creator without any partner, without any father, without any son, without any relative. He doesn't need, he is unique. And we believe also that this life is temporal and there is a life after death coming where a person will reap its fruits or actually the consequence if one has been doing wrong. So we believe in the life here after and one day of justice where justice will be served. That's why it's known as day of judgment. Like we now, some people say, oh, what's happening in the world? You know, well, look, people are dying from hunger in Africa or what's happening in Iraq and Syria, things are actually happening like this, what is, why is God not helping them, etc., etc. Well, that is the whole point, that for a limited time, God has given us the freedom, the human being, that you do whatever you like, and after your death, you won't have this choice, before your birth, you don't have this choice, but for a short time, this is about the test. So what's why happening? Because human beings are abusing their freedom of will. Human beings are abusing their freedom of choice. That's why there is chaos. While other kingdom, you see the heavens, the sky, the, there are millions and billions of stars. They are living uh, harmoniously. Galaxies are living. Animal kingdom is existing. But all the chaos actually is mostly caused by the people because they use their freedom of choice in the wrong way. Allah, when Allah's time, subhanahu wa ta'ala's time come for judgment, and pe then they even a pe person cannot breathe or move his finger without actually the permission of Allah. Like at the time of death, you can't move your finger. Now the choice Allah has taken back from the person. He can't even close your eye. Many people die, the others have to shut their eyes. Because now God has taken that choice. Freedom of choice. Before you have, but when God will, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take that back, now no harm. On the day of judgment, there will be 50,000 years long, or 1,000 years, or how many. But no harm, no, no one will be able to harm anyone then. That is the under direct control of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But now, in this short life, Allah has given us choice, whatever we do. That's why there is chaos on the face of the earth. So, we're believing in the life here after the, and the judgment and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent books for our guidance which is known as Quran, Gospel, Sal, and all these books and he sent messenger we believe in them and we believe in the that Allah has given us freedom of choice but he knows what we are going to do he knows what we are going to do but still he has given us freedom so that we independently 
actually choose whatever good or bad we do, our consequence. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is knowledgeable about it. He has power over it. But without, with his will he has given this, that's known as qadr or destiny. So we, all these are articles of faith. Uh, and uh, now inshallah I will be repeating in Arabic uh, the meaning of it will be that I bear witness that you will be saying after me, I bear witness there is no God but only Allah and he is only worthy of worship and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is his worshipper and his messenger and he's one he's the last one and then i will be just saying in arabic actually or english to repeat the articles of faith and that is very simple to enter islam because you're coming back to your home you're coming back to your nature you're coming back to your own lord it's like a child a baby who comes back to his mother that is his origin that is actually the one who loves him most and he feels so happy and thing and prophet muhammad peace be upon him said god almighty loves his servant when he turns back he, and god is happy and loves more 70 times more than a mother loves the baby or the child so you are coming back to the lap of the mercy of god not anyone else who you were it was me and you who have ran away here and there but he was always there so we're coming back to our home, our region, our nature. So it's very, very simple to enter Islam. He's not made it difficult. And then God Almighty becomes so much pleased that you become like a newborn person. Any bad thing, any evil which has happened in your life, cleared completely. And it is a blessing for us that you will be the most good and virtuous person at this time than any one of us because we have many many burden and baggage and sins on our shoulders but you want so you will we will ask you for to pray for us as well because you will be very close to god more than us rather we say so now i will be mentioning this same phrase the same what i have summary of it in arabic and you will just repeat after me have you got any question before we do that anything which is bothering in your mind you know, many, many questions rise in the person, the media, the people, saying all sorts of things. Any? Okay. So just repeat after me. And it doesn't matter if you can't pronounce it well. It doesn't matter at all. Allah looks at the heart and the intention of the person, not actually really the body. So, you know. so. Ash. Ash. Hadu. Allah. Ilaha Ilaha Illa Illa Allah Allah Wa Ash Hadu Alu Anna Anna Muhammad Muhammad Abdu Abdu Hu Wa Rasulu Rasulu Hu I bear witness, I just repeat after me, I bear witness, I bear witness with my free will, with my free will that, that there is no, there is no true, God true God except Allah. Except Allah. There is none worthy of, none worthy of worship, worship except, Allah. except Allah. And Prophet Muhammad, and Prophet Muhammad is the worshipper and messenger, and messenger of, Allah. of Allah. I believe, I believe in, Allah. in Allah. I believe, I believe in, his books, in his books, in his messengers, in his messengers on, the judgment, on the day of judgment, life after death, life after death and in destiny. Amantu. Billahi, Billahi, wa mala, wa mala, ikati, ikati, wa, wa, kutu, kutu, bi, bi, wa, wa, rusu, rusu, li, li, wal yawm, wal yawm, akhir, akhir, wal, wal, qadr, qadr, ri, ri, sharri, sharri, 
ہی مین اللہ تعالی ول بعث بعد الموت والقدر خیری خیری و شر من اللہ تعالی So basically in Arabic what we have said is that I believe in Allah, His angels, His messengers, His books on the day of judgment and bad and good whatever happens is by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and life after death. So by this, after this person, alhamdulillah, have entered Islam, now As I mentioned, the, all they have to do is to keep up with the, their obligations towards Allah and the creation. Towards Allah is five times salah. And if a person have wealth, uh, money uh, to a certain amount, which can be mentioned after a part of, small part of it given to for the service and there was a creation uh, as called zakah. And alhamdulillah, now very soon the month of Ramadan is coming. If you find that month, you uh, try to fast is beneficial for both this world and hereafter. And if one has enough money and health, once in a lifetime visiting the home of Islam, meaning the, in Saudi Arabia, the Makkah, the city of Makkah, the house of Allah, and the city of the Prophet uh, in uh, Medina. Okay. Any question you have? Okay. Congratulations, we'll just do dua actually, and you will also pray for us and other Muslims. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ya Rahman Rahim, we are thankful to you, you have created us, you have blessed us with faith and all the blessings which are showering us day and night, especially our brother here, Brother Ali, who has named, who has chosen a name, one of the best names, of the best, one of the best companion, Ya Arham al uh, accept his acceptance of Islam and verily you are most happy when anyone turns to you and your Prophet alayhi salatu waslam have said that person becomes like a newborn and free from sin. Ya Rabbul Alameen, enable us also to repent from sins and ask forgiveness. Ya Arham ar bless our brother Ali with the goodness of this world and hereafter. Make it easy for him to practice the deen, protect his faith and bless him with his wealth, with his health. And Ya Rabbul Alameen, make him means of bringing others to the light of Iman. Ya Arham ar save him from all the evil, whatever exists, inner and outer. Evil of shaitan, evil of the people, evil of waswas and all kinds of evil. Amen. Ya Rabbi Alameen, have mercy upon all of us and all the Muslims who passed away with Iman and were living. Ya Rabbi Alameen, bless all the kuffar with also the light of Iman like you have given guidance to this, uh, our brother Ali. Ya Rabbi Alameen, Ya Rahman Rahimin, we have witnessed long time ago, but we still have not become the, your true worshiper and servants. There is so much lacking in us enable us to rectify ourselves and become best of the your servants, best of your worshiper and true followers of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu Elevate the status of all the Anbiya, and especially our beloved Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu as they delivered the message of Islam to us. And elevate the status high of the family of the Prophet and the companions and all the scholars of this Ummah by virtue of them, this message has reached us. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Ameen. Ameen. MashaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Congratulations. Okay. MashaAllah. Thank you for coming. Ameen. Congratulations. Where do you live? Yeah. Oh. Mashallah, you are friend? Yeah. Anything you want to ask me?